Hey guys, thank you for being here to help me moisturize my lips. I don't know if, oh, like why my lips are like super dry the last few days. It may be because I've been turning my heat up a little higher than usual. So that may be why, but jeepers. Anyway, we're going to jump into it. I received the box today. It says shop for blends. <laughs> I sent someone a package. <laughs> It seems so hard to find someone who loves makeup as much as I do. And so a good friend of mine, I've been sending her some things. And I'm looking at my face and it's just looking really pale under here. So I'm going to take actually nutmeg, which is way too dark for me. <laughs> and see if I can tone that down. And that did not work at all. Mm. And usually I never put nutmeg. That was my first time ever putting nutmeg under my eyes. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Like from this side, it doesn't look bad. But looking straight to me, it looks really pasty. Anyway, back to the video. Sorry about that. So I sent her some items in this box. And so I received the box back. And <laughs> like... She did tell me to expect a box, and I was just like, oh, wow, people don't send me things. I'm always the one sending other people things. And so I was really excited. I was really surprised. There was a card in here. I did read the card, and I started to, and I took the tissue paper off, and I looked inside, and I said, you know what? I'm going to do this on video, because I am just, like, so excited, and she is near and dear to my heart. Sorry for the rustling of the tissue paper. Um, so we're, <laughs> I have no, I don't even know what one thing is because she mentioned a foundation, but she packaged everything so nice and cute. When I send her stuff, I just like put it in a box and bubble wrap it if it's fragile. And so this is something else. This is something else. And I don't know why I'm taking them all out right now. This is in here and this, oh, is that candy? I don't know. I'm hungry. And so that's everything in the box and there's paper at the bottom, which I think was in there when I sent it to her. To me, that is just so funny. True story. If someone is here or if I take someone food, it's in a container. And usually it's a reusable, washable container. And so if they go to give me the container back, I'm like, you didn't receive it empty, so I'm not going to take it back empty. You can either keep the container... <laughs> Or give it back to me with food in it or like a bag of M&M's or something. And I had completely forgot that I used to do that until now because I sent her something in this exact box. <laughs> and she sent the box back with stuff in it. So let's get into, I'm going to open this first. I'm curious of what this sound is. I'm going to try not to make a mess. And she packaged everything so nicely and it's so pretty. The different paper. Oh, this is, oh, Vegan Beauty Vinyl Obsession. I used to wear Kat Von D's lip glosses back in the day. This is taking me back. There's four different colors in here. Blossom, Carnation, Tulip, and Holly Rock. I am excited. Should I go ahead and swatch all of these? Look at these colors. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited. Thank you so much. This is Hollyhock. Is that how well it's pronounced? I want to I want to swatch them, but I'm so messy. Hollyhock. Oh, that's pretty. This is Tulip. Oh, that looks red. It has a scent to it, but I'm not sure what that scent is. Carnation. They all smell the same, but I keep smelling them trying to figure out what that smell is. Oh, that one's really pretty. I kind of want to, you know, I'm not going to put anything on. I'm going to do a try on. I stood them up and I, they fell over. <laughs> and this one is Blossom. I may do a try on video in another one because I don't want this one to be long. Oh, that's a nice neutral. So we're going to open up this one. I am so excited. And I will schedule out 
the try-ons. Oh, okay, this is the foundation she mentioned. Alme. I have never tried Alme foundation. Make mine dark. I'm guessing that this is the color. We will see. Blend to reveal color. Smart shade, skin tone, matching makeup. The, the number is 600. Years ago, I think it might have been... I don't even remember. I want to say Josie Marin, but I'm not sure. Somebody did a skin matching foundation. I tried it. It looked nice at home. <laughs> I went all the way to New Jersey. And my godmom says, you look like you got two black eyes. I was like, what? I don't know if it oxidized or what. But the issue was... I have under eye discoloration and so if it matches my entire face this will be one tone and this will be another tone and so and when I looked in the mirror at her house it did look like I had raccoon eyes I was like oh my god and I felt so embarrassed because I had been to the store I had been making gas and I'm just like how many people saw me looking crazy so anyway but now I know if you're using a skin matching foundation don't put it under your eyes because your face is still going to be two different colors. Like even now how it's looking weird under here. And so I'm going to open it and just test it really quick. So how we're going to test the shade is Estee Lauder 4N2, which is Spice Sand. I'm going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And so that's how we're going to color match it. There are times when I do videos I wear 4W1 because every now and then it just looks like... I'm sorry, I'm just trying to do too many things at one time. Sometimes it looks like it washes me out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So this is the 4N2. That's what I have on now. And so we're going to open the Almay. And so we're going to put that. <laughs> so this is. <laughs> but see, I don't know if. My hand is not the same shade as my face, but we'll see. If it's going to blend out into this shade. But because that is a shade, it may not. Like, I don't know what it's doing. It's looking lavender-ish on my hand and even on the Q-tip. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, this is strange. That is not... Do I want to put some on my neck? Like, I don't know. But my neck is not the same color as my face. And it is looking like two completely different colors. And I don't... Is that the color of my hand? I want to take that first Q-tip and further blend out the 4-2, I'm sorry, the 4 into Estee Lauder, which is what's on my face right now. And so it may, I don't know if it looks darker. This is the 4 into that I'm wearing on my face now. This is the Almay number 600. I don't know if that's really... It says self-adjusting, but looking at my skin on my hand, that's not even that color either. Whereas the 4N2 does <laughs> blend in with my hand. So I just think it's a little strange that it adjusts to your skin tone, but they have different numbers for their different tones. So it's a little strange, but I am going to do it. As I said, I am going to do a try on one day. And see if I can make it work with powders. But that is very interesting. Okay, we're going to open up this one. I'm sorry that took so long. I'll speed up where I can, but because I'm yakking, I won't. And then that fell over. I won't be able to. Oh, I heard a lot about this. Maybelline New York. <laughs> Nudes of New York. I've heard about this. I've seen it on YouTube. Back in the day, before I ventured away from... <laughs> drugstore stuff I used to really like the Maybelline eyeshadows oh this is pretty it's so pretty 
Wow. I'm gonna open this one. This is like so exciting. Oh. Maybelline New York Sky High. I've seen commercials for this <laughs> on TV. This is perfect timing because I believe I just threw away the sample of the Fenty mascara that I've been using. And I only open one mascara at a time because you're supposed to trash your mascara after three months. And so I don't have two, three, four mascaras open at the same time. So this is actually perfect. I'm going to use this when I use this and when I use the foundation and when I use the lip products. I'm excited. I kind of want to put some stuff on now, but this video is, is going to be long. So this is the last thing. Nabla. I've heard of Nabla. I have nothing from Nabla. Cutie Pie Platinum. This packaging is cute. Ow. I always struggle I'm getting... Ow. Things open. Did I cut myself? And so I took it out of the sleeve. This is so adorable. Ooh, uh-oh, the little plastic thingy fell out. This is cute. This is what that looks like. That's cute. I'm gonna have fun with this. Transition, outer corner, lid, inner corner, <laughs> where this can be on the lid. This can go underneath your lower lash line. I already have a look in mind for this. Or you can do two, a two shade look. Put this on the lid, this in the crease. You can put this on the lid, this in the crease. This in the crease, this on the lid. Ah! Or you can put inner corner, inner corner, center of the lid, the last half of the lid. Deepen up the outer corner with this and also put this lightly in the crease. Ah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've tried any of these products, let me know. The Vegan Beauty Vinyl Obsession. Let me grab them real quick because everything just fell everywhere. If you've tried any of the glosses from this little set, if you've tried the Almay Skin Tone Matching Makeup, if you've tried, why does it feel like I'm missing something? The Nudes of New York from Maybelline Palette. If you've tried the Sky High Mascara, or if you've tried the Nabla Cutie Palette, let me know what you think. I'm going to go. You guys will see me in the next video.